dinge voor maak me famous was, uh, jy het altyd net gehoop, jy word famous, en het altyd gehoop dat, you know, there's someone out there that's gonna see your talent, you know, see what it is that you can do. So I've always been doing, you know, the little gigs, and ek het altyd gehoop dat daar sal iemand wees that's gonna recognize me and be like, yo, let's give you a spot. En dan maak me famous het gebeur, na maak me famous, so it's like, Amal ken jou naam, amal weet wat het is um, wat jy doen. And people just recognize you for your talent, you know, and for the person that you are. So that for me was amazing. Um, it really then blew you up, you know, in a way that you never imagined was possible. And that was amper soos dit oornacht gewees. It's just overnight, boom, you famous. Die maak my famous top 10 sas, sal soos a familie wees nie, because um, most of the competitions you get into, you know, it's about rivalry, it's about I need to beat this one and that one, but fun dag enough, you know, we all were just like a family, everyone had each other's backs, you know, it was about, yo, um, do you know your words, you know, are you ready, don't be so nervous and things like that, and I think that's the thing that kind of made us, you know, a family, and dit het die bond kreeg, waar jy voel dat jy nie in a talent so competitie is hier, maar jy, um, gaan hy nek op die verhoog, you know, and you share the stage with your family and friends and you just feel so comfortable and that is fantastic. But if I, if I should pick one, dan is ek definitely a fan van the Unknown Dance Club because um, hulle weet net hoe my audience te trek and that for me is amazing because they always show up and they always, you know, doing something where they grab the audience and that for me is fantastic because I don't think it's easy to kind of grab an audience and just hold them there for the entirety of your of your set and hulle doen die baie, baie, baie fantastic so I'll be a fan of them. As ek a singer moet gewees het, um, ek dink ek sal het duet gedoen het in die top 10 met my sia because dan ek sal die beste gewees het, nou obviously, I mean come on, come on, but ek dink ek sal um, but you know, maybe with Bernice, you know, her energy is not so amazing. You know, she brings that, that hard call. Because if you look at Bernice, then you think, no, she can't sing, she can't sing. But the moment she hits stage, it's like, um, is, is it the same goose that I've seen? So for me, doing a duet with her would be amazing. And then also is there Megan. Um, but Megan's stem is not like, Sy doen het. Sy staan net op een spot en dan sing sy, dan dink jy dat jy jouself is nie goed genoeg nie. So I think them two would be fantastic. Ek was nie eindelijk in die top 5 nie, so ek kan nie vir jou top 5 tips gee nie. Um, but my tips would be, um, always be yourself, enjoy every performance, um, and I think that's, that would be number one basically, that would be the main one. Go on stage, enjoy the performance, because at the end of the day, die is jou moment. You know, that is what all the rehearsing came to. That is what entering, you know, that is. That is your moment. Um, so you should definitely just enjoy it, you know. Go into your space. Enjoy the moment. Um, be real. Um, people can always see if, you, if you're faking it till you make it. So be real. People fall in love with who you are. Um, rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. I can't stress. The more you hear, the better you become, you know, and it's working on your craft and becoming the best you can be. And my last step would be listen to your mentors. Um, because this means what lang in the game is, this means what weet waarvan hulle praat. And hierdie mense, you know, die raad wat hulle gee, is, it can only make you better. Mark my famous session 2, ek is excited and I'm sure you guys are excited too. Woensdag aan op Cake Net en Cake Net en Key, jy wil dit nie uitmissen.